Hi. Welcome to our hall. <laughs> What's our intro? Do we have a song? No. <laughs> I hate it. Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. Trader, Trader Joe's. Joe's. Oh. Let's just dive right into our hall. Wait, I didn't say my name. Oh, okay, okay. Let's just say our names. They know you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't even think they know me because they think my name is ABC J. Oh, okay. You could be ABC J. Oh, um, uh, yeah. And I could be ABC Ray. Ray. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to our Trader Joe's haul. My friend ABC DJ. <laughs> and I decided to put together a little Thursday night charcuterie board. So we just had to make the Trader Joe's journey and uh, get some new delights. <laughs> it's a little hot. It is really hot. It's getting hot and dry. Yeah. So we went to Trader Joe's and I lost I thought we were just doing a simple charcuterie, but now we're making a video. Now we're here. <laughs> so But it's still gonna be a simple charcuterie. Woo! It's a charcuterie and also a try what we're trying to try taste taste test. Taste, taste haul test. Trader Joe's review and review and subscribe. For more. Okay, those are frozen good. These sublime ice cream sandwiches, which are sublime. I mean, let's find out, right? Well, let's get a plate. Okay. Like, cut it in half. Yeah, we're just like. Where's the knife? Oh my god. A knife! Oh, amazing. Oh, okay, just gonna. <laughs> Let me try it. Right. I've never had it before. I have. They're still hit. <laughs> wow. But doesn't it look good? It's like. It does look good. It has like sundry tomatoes and cheese and herbs and. We're allergic to cheese and vegetables, <laughs> right? Okay. Wow, this is where the real fun comes in. Oh, Crispy, yes. crunchy, spicy, mochi rice nuggets. Little babies are on fire. Cheers. Cheers. I like to smell things before I eat them. It just tastes like any other, like, kind of like a Japanese snack. Mm -hmm. It's kind of good, right? Yeah, no, it is good. It's like kind of good. Mm -hmm. It is spicy. It is spicy. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely spicy. You know, it's like crackers, it's like mm -hmm. these cracker things. Yeah. That's it just like a lot of Indian snacks too. I feel like by itself, it's a different kind of spice. Take four. Okay, these are really good. Have you had them before? I have. Yeah, they're always good for hot girls. Mm. Very good. I just like all things sour. But these are not as sour as Takis. But these good. are like sour, but then they're also spicy. But I feel like they're pretty sour. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Like they're very good. limey. Mm -hmm. I do enjoy. Wait, should we rate these? Like, we just keep changing it up. <laughs> just let's now start rating them. Whatever. Okay. Seven. Seven? Yeah. I think, yeah, seven. Seven, nice. seven, one. <laughs> now this. These are like a nine. Yeah, I like would. Eight, six. Eight. I, eight, six, yeah. Oh, eight, six, yeah. I feel like all things sour automatically eight. I really like this. Eight, six is a good score, like in a positive way. Not in like a B plus, like you're di being disowned kind of way. Like in like a positive way. Yeah, these are good. They're good. I like how they're not. <clears throat> They're like overwhelming. Was, yeah, like mm -hmm. the flavors. And I do like my Takis though, but mm. these are. I feel like with Takis, sometimes I can, I can, I start to feel gross. Oh. After eating them. But I don't with this. Yeah, I don't think I would feel. Even though these are still unhealthy, right? Like. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. But it's because of the flavor. This yeah. Has like over time. Mm hmm Have you ever tried this? What is that? Stone fruit. 
stone fruit. Should we show why we got stone fruit? We got stone fruit to go with. Do you want to pronounce this word for me? The blueberry, blueberry. vanilla. You said. Can you pronounce this word for me? <laughs> it's blueberry. blueberry. Blueberry vanilla. Oh, chevre. 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 Basically, we heard that stone fruit goes really well with goat cheese. So that's why we got peaches, and we also got apples. I don't think an apple is a stone fruit. Oh, <laughs> not a stone fruit, but also might be good it. It still tastes with good. this. Oh, do you want to eat the sticker? You know, it's protein. Okay. And then do we cut the cheese or? The cheese. You apple too. Mm -hmm. Do you think that was good? I think they're both good separately, but maybe not together. <laughs> I don't think they're good together. Well, this we should have fruit on it. That's why. That's true. You no. Know. But maybe the stone fruit theory will still work out for us. <laughs> Yes. Cut to our crackers. So this is a new item, and this is why we wanted to even do this. Because I love the fig and olive crisps. Like, these are always so good. But then I saw they have these new ones, which are the strawberry and jalapeno crisps. And I was like, we gotta get it. We gotta try it. We gotta let the masses know. Good, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now we have it with this cheese. This one's big. Like, oh, I'm not sure that one. No, you haven't tried this. That one's strawberry and jalapeno. How do you You have to try it. Mm. You just tell you have to sit and tell them. Spicy and good. <laughs> I like this one. You try that one? This one's good. Actually, it's almost like that with the spice, touch of spice in it. Mm -hmm. Let's try with this. Oh my goodness. Oh yum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the end. Uh, yeah, I feel like it's similar, but you can feel it in your nose. What is? The jalapeno. Oh. Like the spice. What? I feel like the aftertaste is spicy on nice this Nice aftertaste. Mm -hmm. But this is good. This, the car things we have. I wanted to finish my mm -hmm. mochi. But if you want to have it, you have to stand here and taste it on the camera. Okay, this is very jumpy. Very spicy. Not cheesy, right? Not cheesy. Mm. 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 I like them. They're good, right? Right? Very good. They have a spice, though. I can have one. Yes. But they are all spicy, my best. Yeah. Who's going to eat this? Only I will be enjoying them again. Oh, I like them. Wait, no, you know, I really. You can them. handle it. These are very yummy. We like them. Yeah. This can be my everyday snack. <laughs> <Like chuckly. laughs> Do you know they sell chuckly at um, Trader Joe's now? Yeah. This, I feel like nine. I feel like every charcuterie board has to have this. You must get it. Mm -hmm. Amazing staple. This, I think I like this better. What do you think? Do you like this one better? This one is good for savory. Hmm. This one's good for sweet. Even the spice. What do you mean good for sweet? This is spicy. Like I would eat this. Honestly. With something sweet? Honestly, I can't really tell the difference. <laughs> to be to be fair. To be honest, they're pretty similar, but this is definitely spicy, but I don't know if I mm. want it to be like that. But honestly, I don't know if I I'm like giving it a fair. You like this one? It was the kick. Well, I feel like I'm not giving it a fair shot because my mouth is still burning from this. So, I feel like I'm still like, this is honestly coming out of my ears, like. This is like off. Raisin Bran. And is that a positive or negative for you? I like Raisin Bran. I really like this. I don't even know how much I like olives, but this is. Lit. Does it not taste like Raisin Bran? I don't actually know if I've ever had Raisin Bran. This reminds me of that book, like Raisin in the Sun. You know what's always good? These sesame sticks, mm. which are honestly also like a, I feel like, I'm trying to say knockoff because they're kind of like simple things to make, but this is like an Indian, reminds me of this Indian snack, which is, I mean, you can't really go wrong with this. It's just like exactly what it says. It's like 
Amazing. Sesame, wheat sticks, crunchy. Mm -hmm. Perfect for the French. I love these. Ten. I would say 10. Do you well, no. I would give it like a nine. Yeah, nine. Eight, nine. But this is really good. Mm -hmm. I love these. So, another staple. Okay, what else we got in this? Ooh. We got some hot and sweet pepper jelly, which I'm very excited about. How are we going to have this? This. Oh, okay. Like and subscribe. <laughs> if Rhea can get it open. Oh! <laughs> now you have to. I'm excited about this pepper jelly. I like stuff like this a lot. Me too. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Once again, smelling it. Ooh, it smells good. Yeah. That's the shit I like. That's good. Right? Sweet because of the jelly. It's still spicy. I feel like everything's like mm -hmm. sweet, spicy stuff, but mm, why I like that. This honestly might be my favorite thing we've tried so far. Really? What was your favorite thing so far? I think. Mm, I'd give this like a nine three. I like these. Okay. I just like crackers. That's fair. I give this a nine point three. Nice I think four. it's pretty. I would give it an eight, but it just tasted kind of too sweet for me. I was expecting more like I don't know. I don't really know what I was expecting, but it's good. This is your like favorite. It. It's definitely a little too sweet, so you have to have it with spicy stuff and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I do like it a lot. Like stuff like this is always good, like pepper jelly or like those yeah. like charcuterie spicy jellies. Mm -hmm. We didn't get it this time, but fig jam. Mm. Love fig jam. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else we got? Oh, we got this olive. We weren't sure how we felt about this, but they're like 50 cents. It's probably like three of them. But yeah. Sometimes they'll be but like it says here, two just olives. the right number of olives. Okay. Which we don't know how many. We'll find out what just the right number of olives means, I guess. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Stop. Cheers. Okay. Smells like an olive. I don't like that at all. But I don't know how much I like olives, I guess. What are your thoughts? I think I'm just... It's because it's warm. Like, they say... Stashing in a backpack, purse, desk, drawer, pantry shelf, 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 you never know when that craving's going to strike. And I feel like this was in someone's pocket. <laughs> what would you I, give that? I would really give it a two. And two seven. Say two. Okay, two seven. I like olives though. So, okay. but if out of all the olives in the world, I would yeah. give this like a, like a like a three. Yeah, I feel like it. I would definitely not get this again. But I do sometimes like olives because I like like sour things and mm. stuff like that. But for some reason, that really did not hit. No. So no. I think we're almost there. <gasps> Is there a last item? Miss. Hummus, cilantro, Wait. and jalapeno hummus. Smooth and creamy cilantro and jalapeno. My mom loves this stuff. It just like works well with things. Like I don't know what else to tell you. Mm -hmm. And we got some bell caps to eat it with. Oh, the smell, that hummusy cilantro smell. Oh God. Yeah, see, you need a bigger piece. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> what the? So cute. You want to smell it like you smell it. I don't like to smell my food before you. good. It smells like, it's, like South it's, Indian food. It's I don't fun know. to smell your food. Right? Oh, good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was good. What did I say? That was really good. I'm going to smell like Indian food. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it kind of tastes like it, too. Yeah, this kind of tastes and smells like Indian food. Like, I don't know why, but maybe it's my house. But <laughs> again, some more. How would you review it? I think it's really good. I would give it like like an eight seven or something. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I'd give it like an eight. 
Yeah, and I think it's good with the peppers or like with crackers, probably like a plain cracker or everything cracker. I kind of want to have it with this, with sesame sticks. Oh. Like. Let me try this again. Yeah. Here we go with that. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm, <laughs> crusty. Oh, the raspberries. The raspberries. Gotta try the raspberries. We don't know what that tastes like. Oh, what does the raspberry taste like? Mmm. These are a little sour. Yeah. <laughs> These are a little sour. I thought you like sour. I do like sour, so I'll have them. <laughs> but they're not sweet at all. No. And then we got these honey roasted peanuts. Oh. We got these honey roasted peanuts, mostly because I went on Southwest and they don't have peanuts anymore, so... They were craving So them. I was craving those honey nuts Cheerios. <laughs> peanuts. That was it. Just how I remember them. I feel like things uh, have been good in this haul. Yeah. What do you give this? Like a seven. Yeah. It's just, just like peanuts. 7.0. Yummy. As we like. <laughs> okay, our final item is this focaccia. Oh, yeah. Bread knife. Nice and toasty. We got this focaccia bread that we put in the oven for four, 400 degrees for like, what, 15 minutes? Yeah. Mmm. Fresh bread is just wow. good. Also, we got the end. We didn't really get like fun bits. Let's have some fun bits. The right, fresh bread's like... really good. Fresh bread, we love that fresh bread. Right, these. Mm. These are cheeses from the farmer's market. Mm. So, not from Trader Joe's, but cheddar cheese curds. And I believe these are like garlic dill curds. Mmm. The garlic dill one's really good. Right? Mm -hmm. so you just get a little bite of those guys. I on love dill. Kosh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? I saw it. I knew it. I was like, that looked really tasty. And I was like, it's gonna be so good with the focaccia. So we're putting the charcuterie board together. And we'll show you guys the final product and hope you guys enjoy. Let us know if you tried anything new from Trader Joe's this week or something we should try. And if you like my sweatshirt, the link's in the caption to order one. 100% of the proceeds are going to go to COVID relief. Get lit. Stay safe, kids. Peace. Pack up my summer in a Ziploc bag. Old maps and tchotchkes, photographs of this and that I'll write myself a letter so that I'll remember all What if I don't hold on to this red string? Can't retrace my old steps, the songs I used to sing If the birds I'll eat my breadcrumbs, how will I know who 